Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share some of my favourite sketchbooks and watercolour books and what I thought I would do is compare them by trying out different mediums on them. So I've got some Rosa Gallery watercolour the um, soft pastels, uh, the gallery oil pastels, some gouache and um, this colouring pencil and I've tried to go for colours which are sort of similar so first is this Winston Newton paper and I use this um, all the time for if I'm making art to put up on a wall or frame or whatever and I like it mainly because it's quite cheap um, and you get 12 bits of paper which you can just um, you can just peel off it's got a glue here. The um, weight of this is 300 GSM, so it is a watercolour paper and it's got 25% cotton um, and it's also cold pressed. But considering it's got um, cotton in it, which is um, quite expensive <laughs> um, it's only £8 for this pad so it's, it's really really reasonable and I just like it because it's cheap it works really well especially with watercolour and uh, yeah I get some nice results I usually work on cold press um, I'll just leave that there and grab this watercolour paintbrush I normally work on cold press because it's um, got nice texture and when I do landscapes I quite like the effect that that has I have purchased um, some hot pressed watercolour paper as well and I, I do want to try that and see how that works with um, more uh, kawaii art where I prefer to have a, a smoother texture so I've just picked up some of the Rosa Gallery watercolour and I'm just going to plop this on here a little bit more on there draw that out so yeah you can see it moves quite easily along the paper and you get a little bit of um, that texture here as well it's quite nice Um, now going to try the gouache. I couldn't find a um, colour which matched the purple. So this is uh, this is actually just a blue. So just pop it here.
Yeah, that lays down really smoothly. It's very nice. Next, I'm going to try this soft pasta. I'll just um, lay down quite a bit so that I can get some of the dust. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the texture there. It's quite a repetitive texture. You can see here. I've got it all over my fingers. <laughs> and then this is the oil pasta. And again, I'll just try and lay that on quite thick. This is a little bit easier to get in all the um, dips of the paper. Is spreading quite far. And lastly, I'll try this pencil. Yeah, probably not so great with a pencil because you really have to <laughs> press into it to um, avoid the texture coming through. So, this is the Windsor Newton, and yeah, I think. Um, it's really good for the gouache and uh, watercolour as well. The next sketchbook I have is this Canson XL and it doesn't have any cotton in it. There are 20 sheets and um, it's 300 GSM and this um, costs around £10 it has a perforated edge here so you can um, take, take this away <laughs> peel it off um, if you wanted to again I I think this is quite a good all-purpose paper so I'll just try with the watercolour first and that does spread really well probably better than the, the winds are actually I'm quite surprised by that yeah take up some of the gosh yeah this lays on really smooth as well probably got a bit too much water on my brush there Yeah, that's nice. 
I'm really amazed by that. I wasn't expecting that. And next I'll try the soft pastel. This is cold press, but it feels much smoother than the Winsor Newton. Yeah, yeah, you can see here it. Um, yes, but much, much smoother. I think we'll have the same result with the oils as well. With the oil pastel, I mean. Hmm. This doesn't seem to want to spread as much as it did on the Windsor, but that might be the amount that I put on. But it is much, much smoother. Yeah, look at that. I don't really have to go too hard on it. Yeah. I think this is a really good sort of all-rounder. I think if you wanted to do a lot of mixed media art, the Canton XL is, is probably your way to go. Yeah, everything works just really, really well on it. The next pad I have is this pencil marsh. I think it's pronounced like. Um, and this is uh, another watercolour. Um, I think it's 300 GSM. And it's got 50% cotton in it. And, um, again, cold press. This was about, um, £10 as well. And I think, yes, you get 30 sheets. So this is really, really good value for money, especially since it's got, um, you know, 50% cotton in. And again, it's, um, even though it's cold pressed, still feels quite smooth. I haven't used this before, so um, yes, it'd be quite, quite a new um, experience for me. Oh, wow. Okay, so the watercolour doesn't want to flow quite as much. Yeah, you can see it just sort of sits around there. If I can encourage it to move a bit. Hmm. No. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't move along the paper that well. Which, um, you know, if you like to have a lot of control over your watercolour, that might be a good thing for you. 
just gonna pick up some gouache a bit more wet yeah that's better oh, much better just getting a bit messy with it yeah that's nice and smooth there yeah it's um, even the gouache it kind of is a bit streaky where he just doesn't want to move. I know that gouache doesn't necessarily move that much. You know, you put it down, it sort of stays where it is, but uh, it's coming out a little bit streaky. Okay, let's try the soft pastel. I went in a bit heavy there Okay, oh, I hate even the soft pastel, oh, look at that Yeah, um, just wants to stay <laughs> I'm not sure why that is, that's quite weird Let's try the oil Let's just be quite generous with it Okay Yeah, strange It's quite um I mean that's that is smoothing out quite nicely I'll try. Oh see with the watercolour it's um a lot of the paint is sort of gathering at the the edges. Hmm. Let's try with this. That's very smooth, that's very smooth. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's almost like there are um lines in the paper here. Interesting. Um, gonna be honest, not sure how I feel about this. None of these, um, maybe aside from the oil pastel, none of them really look as nice as they did on the other paper. Um, yeah, I think if you just wanted something a bit cheap though. I do wonder if this is actually, I know it says it's 50% cotton, but mm, I'm, not, I'm not so sure about that The next sketchbook I have is this Sea White Brighton and this is just um, a normal cartridge paper and um, it doesn't really say I don't know if it really says no hot or cold press, but I would assume hot press just because it is extremely smooth. I don't know if you if you do that with cartridge paper actually, um, but this is a uh, 160 GSM. I am expecting because of that that the watercolor will not work very well on here. But um, no, I'll give it a go anyway. Mm. 
Wow. Wow. Huh. Yeah, we'll just see if that buckles. So I think I've um, made a little mark there. That's interesting. Let's see if I can get this to just move around a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I've not um, used this uh, for like a like a watercolor painting. I've used some of the metallic paints on it, but um, yeah, not uh, not in large quantities. I wonder how it would work um, under pressure of you know a lot of water or layers. I don't know if it would actually hold up that well. Um, so I don't know what I'm doing here, squash. <laughs> um, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> you can see some of the colour flowering. It is it is buckling a bit with the water. Hmm, it's not it's not bad. It's not um as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And the gouache is uh, okay. I think if you were to do many layers you would um you would stop um uh, you know getting all the the paper loose when it all gets in the paint. I think that's that's what would happen here. And this is the soft pastel. Oh, again, very nice, lovely. Oh, nice and smooth. That is lovely. That is really, really lovely. When I um, did the um, the artwork I guess, of um, Kiki and Lala in my previous videos from Little Twin Stars, um, I had a lot of a lot of trouble um, trying to get it to be smooth, and I'm. Um, I'm actually wondering if I was just using the wrong paper. I should have been using this really. Oh wow. Yeah, that's really nice. That's so smooth. So smooth, that's lovely. And, uh, oh perfect. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I think if you wanted to use this for pencils or sketching, it'd be really, that'd be really, really good. Oh, I like that a lot. Lovely. Yeah. So, I think I probably wouldn't use this for um, watercolour or gouache but it works really well with these other mediums really well the next two that I have are my two favourite sketchbooks these are so good and uh, I would definitely, definitely recommend these, um, especially for watercolour. The first is this uh, Canson watercolour paper, and I think this was a collaboration 
with Sa uh, Saunders Waterford. Um, the paper is just so. I oh, just it just feels good quality. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, it's um three hundred GSM and a uh, hundred percent uh, cotton watercolor. And it's a uh, cold press as well. This is a lot dearer than the other sketchbooks I um, tried earlier. Uh, this is about £22. But um, I think if you want to do some really nice watercolour work, uh, it's, it's definitely, definitely worth it. I find that um, it is much more fun to play um, or or paint, use <laughs> um, paper which. Um, you know, uh, it's, it's easy to work with. I, before I would always spend, um, you know, as little as possible. And um, I think that I just found it really frustrating a lot of the time. And I couldn't get, um, you know, really nice results. I just struggled a lot when I was kind of first starting out. And I did find that when I changed over to um, better quality paints and especially better quality paper, uh, it just made everything fun. It was just really fun. You know, I could get the, the stuff that I wanted to happen to happen. Um, and it just became a much more enjoyable experience for me. So, if you are struggling, um, and you're finding that, you know, it's just frustrating <laughs> that you can't seem to progress, I think definitely, um, even if you just get one you know, book, you don't need to get loads. Um, just get a 100% cotton paper and um, some, you, you know, um, just a few good quality paints. Um, you only really need, you know, your, your main primaries and you can make every colour <laughs> pretty much. Um, and, uh, yes, definitely, definitely makes it more fun. And look out for deals as well. That's what I do. I just try and get all the deals, because, yeah, I mean, art supplies can be really, really expensive. Oh, that's lovely. God, even this is so nice. Look at that. God, I thought that wasn't going to look that good, but... Wow. Oh, look at how smooth that is as well. It just blends so nicely. There's no colour flowering like in the other one. Oh. Yeah, this is really good watercolour paper. And for cold press as well, I think it is still quite smooth, but you, the texture's more um, random as well, so it kind of feels a bit more, um, you know, natural if you were painting something and you didn't want it to look so, uh, you know, manufactured, I guess, or... Yeah. 
Here we go. There's a crease here that's causing that line. Oh, but honestly, that's um, that's really smooth. Let's try this. Yeah, that's quite nice as well. Again, a bit hard. Um, a bit too, sorry, a bit too um, textured here for pencils, maybe. Depending on, on what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. Hmm. So, yes, I definitely think that this is also a really good mixed media pad. Um, but yeah, especially for watercolour. It's just lovely. And it works really well with um, granulating paints as well. And lastly, I have... Um, my favourite, favourite sketchbook and it is the Etra I'm not sure what they called this um, version but it's basically uh, got a white fabric cover and um, much like the Canson one from before, I just find that this works so, so well with watercolour. Oh, this is honestly my absolute favourite. It um, is a little bit um, uh, less weight than the Canson. So this is um, 230 GSM. And again, it's cold press and 100% um, cotton. And it is uh, a bit dearer as well. Um, so this is um, just over £30. But I absolutely love it. And uh, you get quite a lot of uh, paper for it as well. So, I'll just um, start with the watercolour here. I just love, look at the paint slowly creeping. Oh. It's just so nice. Let's bring some of that down. Wow. Yeah, you can tell I like this one a lot. so good. It just feels nice to work with. Feels, yeah, just wonderful, really wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to use this silver style. I've not 
used um, other media on this actually, so I'm not sure how this will go. Mm. Okay. Not not bad. Not quite as good as the Canton, I don't think, but not bad. Let's try the oil. It's not very, um, I don't know, uh, it almost feels like it sucks up all the moisture and uh, it doesn't allow it to glide across the paper that well. Okay, it's a bit better with a couple of layers. And uh, lastly, I'll do this pencil. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. You have to press down a little bit harder, I think, on this one, but uh, not bad. Uh, but the star of the show is the is the watercolor there. Just so smooth, beautiful. Ah. Brought the camera a bit closer so you can see um, how it all looks, and uh, I think this is probably not the best for um, watercolor, the pencil wash, um, and the sea white as well. Probably not that great, but the Canson. So on the Waterford one and um, the Itra are probably the best with the Windsor and the Canton Excel coming in second. I think the gouache held up pretty well in most of these. But, um, I think it worked best on the Canson and the Etra here. The Soft Pastel, again actually I think, yeah, it works a lot better on the Etra and Canson, the Saunders one. But, um, I think the C white's okay as well, and maybe the XL. Mm. No, I think I think C white is probably a close second. And again with the um, oil pastels, this one and the Etra as well, really really good. With probably C white coming in as a second, and maybe the pencil marsh as well. And then for pencils, I think C white's okay. Pencil marsh did just not do a very good job with it. Nor did Winsor and Newton. The Canton was okay, the Canton Excel, and I think the Etra. So, I think 
Overall, the etcher is probably your best bet for mixed media, although it is really pricey. So, I think a close second would probably be the Sea White, although it's not great with the watercolour. So, I guess sort of a cheap all-rounder would be the Canton XL. I think this is a nice cheap, sort of works with everything. Not perfectly, but well enough that um, you can get some good results. I hope you found this interesting. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these types of videos. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!